Hey everybody, it's Grant here. I just got in from a run, climbed up the four flights of stairs to my apartment here in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. And I just want to take a minute to talk about white privilege. That sounds like a strange thing to talk about after a run, doesn't it? But here's the thing. I just ran in Southeast Asia. Now, I've seen lots of other runners out there. But you know what? Out of all the runners I've seen, maybe one or two was a Southeast Asian person. One or two Khmer, Vietnamese, uh, Hmong, uh, even like a uh, little farther away, Chinese. Why is that? The answer, surprisingly, is white privilege. Um, especially this close to Saigon, or as it's called today in Vietnam, Ho Chi Minh City. Okay? The reason for that is because in the 1960s and the 1970s, there was a policy in the American military that if it's running and if it's Vietnamese, it's a Viet, a Viet Cong. And what that means is a strict order to shoot to kill on site. So I don't know if that's the case here in Cambodia, but there's a strong sentiment against running here. They even have a marathon. There's an office like three blocks over there for the Khmer Marathon. It happens in August. But I don't see anybody training. And I don't think that's because of coronavirus because, again, the streets are pretty busy. So yeah, people are wearing masks sometimes, but Phnom Penh never shut down because you know what? There were two active cases in the last month and a half in Cambodia, and both of those have been cured. They were isolated immediately, and everyone around them tested. And so there's really no coronavirus going on in Cambodia, okay? So the only answer I can come up with is white privilege, because even today, even in the neighboring country, there's sort of this sentiment against running, because a bunch of invading white people came in and said, if you're running and you're a local, that gives me the right to shoot you. That's the only thing I can figure out why these people don't run. Because you know what? Khmer are very healthy people. They've got activity clubs. They all, you see them playing sports in the streets when the traffic dies down. Um, and I've never seen a fat Cambodian. Um, I've never seen a fat Vietnamese person. Uh, I saw maybe one or two in Thailand, but you know, Thailand's a little different because tourism has really changed that country. I saw no fat people in Indonesia, but what I didn't see is any native runners. So when you see things like Ahmad Arbery getting shot and killed by a bunch of vigilantes, because that's exactly what they were. They were not policemen on duty. That, and even if the guy was a retired policeman, that makes him a vigilante because he wasn't on duty. They hunted him down and killed him. Now we've got people who, the guy called the police himself to report counterfeit money. And the police arrest him. And regardless of the reason, they used excessive force, even if he was resisting arrest, which the videos are now suggesting that he wasn't. But even if he was resisting arrest, driving a knee into the guy's throat so that he couldn't breathe and killing him, yeah. It's time that we white people said, you know what, we have the privilege to stand up and say this is wrong. And it's time that we did that, okay? That's why I get up and say, put up all this stuff about black people being mistreated. That's why I put up all this stuff about Asian people being mistreated. That's why I put up all this stuff about the, the wall in Mexico being wrong, and, and, and the, the, the prison camps, the internment camps. That should ring a bell. Remember Japan, Japanese internment camps in the 1940s and 50s? Yeah, we did that too. And these concentration camps are wrong because we're judging people based on the color of their skin. And that's why people here are afraid to go out running. I have an incredible privilege. It's not even in my own country. I'm a foreigner here, but I have a privilege that these people don't because I can run without fear of someone shooting me. 70 years, no, get my time right. 40 years after the war that we started in this in this part of the world okay so yeah maybe it is time that we check our privilege 
but I think it's not so much that we have to put our privilege away. It's time that we said, you know what? It's not fair that those other people don't have these privileges. And we use our privilege to say they deserve to have it too. That's why I stand up and speak. And that's why people kneel. It's not about disrespect. It's not about anything else except it's time that they got treated like human beings instead of cattle or slaves or thing, animals to be beaten and destroyed and things to be mistrusted just because they're present and things to be shot at just because they have the wrong skin color or to be locked into uh, a drive because, oh my gosh, a delivery truck showed up and the driver's the wrong color, okay? That's what we're talking about here. And that's why I'm saying this tonight. So if, if you hear me saying in the coming days, check your privilege. If you hear me saying in the coming days, this is wrong. It's not because I hate white people. It's because I also love black people and Latino people and Asian people and anyone else who's brown or, or red or yellow or any other color because they're human beings too. And they deserve the same respect that we get. That's why. Peace out.